We've had some hatchings around Binaway, um, so but conditions are very dry there at the moment, and um, we're expecting those locusts, you know, um, to do it pretty tough that they have hatched out. But certainly, you know, if landholders can keep dealing with those as best they can. Um, further east of there, in that Wittalaba area, sort of, yeah, we've got some swarms um, in those areas where they're really concentrating on green, and there's been some crop losses there. Moving from there back. Further south, sort of around Dunydo, Elong, um, we've got some uh, swarms through there, and they have been uh, we've confirmed egg beds um, there. Um, so people really need to keep an eye out for, for egg laying there. From there back down to Forbes, we had some reports of swarms flying in uh, late last week. They've lightened off now, so we really need landholders to report where those um, ones are, are, have moved to, and yeah, what what they're what they're currently doing as well. Really, just keep an eye out for egg laying um, and report those. Um, we've brought in extra um, staff um, at the moment to, to try and get around people a bit quicker to confirm those egg beds and um, yeah just check them out. Some egg beds we've looked at they've it's been so dry that eggs are starting to desiccate um, so you know that's one thing um, and there is a wasp um, naturally occurring wasp that gets into them as well so there's been a little bit of that activity but you can't really rely on that to um, do any like major control of locusts there. But when where they are hatching um, we're certainly you know expecting them to come out very very soon if they haven't already um, those ones that were laid prior you know in that first half of March um, so particularly if we get a good rain event um, yeah I think we'd see them come out fairly quickly um, so farmers really need to be on the ball there um, with any hatchings and um, getting in touch, touch with us. Um, when you report any uh, suspected egg laying we are coming out and um, checking those and um, like I said we've got extra staff to come in and try and get around those as quickly as we can so yeah we just basically dig them up and have a look just to see if they've laid. Sometimes they will just do test drilling so they'll test out a site um, so they look like they're laying but they're not actually laying and they for some reason it might be a bit soft underneath or something like that and not suitable for them so they will up and try another spot so yeah we really need to um, dig up those egg beds you know you only need to dig you know a couple inches down and have a look for the egg pod and there'll be a, a throffy plug um, leading to the surface from the eggs um, is the other thing to look for so yeah so we can sort of check the egg viability and um, like I said some areas have been so dry even some of those eggs are, are starting to dry out a bit um, but certainly the ones I looked at um, you know, uh, southwest of Dunydoo last week. Um, yeah, they were very going very well. Those eggs, there was nothing wrong with them at all. So yeah, it's important to, to check those eggs. And also, if people can, um, you know, if they can catch a, a grasshopper, if they can manage to do that, they can check females for eggs. So the females are the ones with the black tip on the, on the end of their abdomen. Um, so pull them apart and you'll see the eggs um, really clearly um, if they're there. They look like little yellow grains of rice um, and when they're sort of getting close to laying they're probably about four or five mils long. So you know they're getting pretty close to laying if you see eggs in, in females like that. Probably the other thing that landholders can do um, to help keep an eye on things is to um, actually mark um, a, an egg bed where they know it is um, with a stake um, in the ground or a steel post or something like that. Um, yeah, just so you can keep an eye on that that, that area. Um, yeah, yeah, it's very easy, sort of, you know, down the, say say they overwinter and next spring you go looking to see if they've come out or check those egg beds. It's it's easy to miss them if you haven't marked it. It's it's a bit like going back and finding a weed you want to control after you've seen it, and going back and trying to find it can be a bit hard. And it's the same thing with egg beds. So it. it Farmers can, you know, if they find an egg bed, mark it with a steel post. Um, yeah, it will help them yeah, keep an eye on what's happening with that egg bed.